Hello, YouTube. This is a very quick, it won't be that quick, actually, um, lesson on how to play the fantastic Fluorescences by Stereolab. Built around lots of nice, uh, slightly jazzy chords. They're called mainly minor sevenths and major sevenths, so let's get right into it. First thing you need to know, intro. There are four chords. G sharp. Se minor 7, E flat minor 7, F minor 7, and an E major 7. So that's the intro, it goes twice. Now for anyone who doesn't know how to play those chords, a G sharp minor 7, you're barring at the 4th fret, putting your 3rd finger onto the 6th fret on the A string and letting all the other strings ring out with the finger acting as the bar. G sharp minor 7. Second chord, E flat minor 7. So barring at the 6th fret, 3rd finger is on the D string at the 8th fret, o, open, I say open, your finger is actually acting as the knot here, so it's uh, the G string being played at the 6th fret, the 1st finger is on the 7th fret of the B string, and the E string is on the 6th fret, E flat minor 7. Now slide that entire shape up too, we'll give you the F minor 7 and then down a semitone to give you the E major 7 which is played barring again the 7th fret 3rd finger 9th fret on the D 1st finger 8th fret on the G pinky 9th fret on the B gives you an E major 7 so that's the intro now the verse is comprised of the same four chords, but instead of playing this F minor 7, you're sliding up a semitone on that third chord change to give you an F sharp minor 7. So using those same shapes, you can play the verse. Now what I like to do really to get the rhythm is basically damp your strings and try and find the rhythm. Play along to the record will give you an idea of how it goes. So it's, I think it's something like... Get your rhythm first, just damping the strings, and then press down and play your chords. part of the song begins on a G sharp minor 7 which I'll show you the first chord of the song you da -da 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 -da. slide that whole shape down too da -da 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 -da. gives you an F sharp minor 7 up to an A bar chord da -da -da. G sharp minor 7 da -da -da. F sharp minor 7 Back to a G sharp minor 7. Da, da, da. So, for those who don't know what an A bar chord is, it's basically an E shape here where you play in the open position. Slide everything up using your finger as a bar on the 5th fret and play that E shape. That will give you an A uh, bar chord. I'm okay. G sharp minor 7. Which you know. Down to. La, da, da. Da, da, da. So. A, 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 G sharp minor 7, F sharp minor 7, G sharp minor 7, A, 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 G sharp minor 7, F sharp minor 7, G sharp minor 7. That is basically all you need to play this song. We'll go into the intro chords again in the break, but um, good luck playing it. It's a great song. 
any questions, drop me a line on the um, comment section, and I'll talk you through it if you need any help. Um, give you an idea. Let's play along just for a little bit, and you can see how it works. Minus seven, E flat minus seven, F sharp minus seven, E major seven, G sharp minus seven, E flat minus seven, F sharp minus seven, E major seven, G sharp minus seven, F sharp minus seven, A, G sharp minus seven, F sharp minus seven, G sharp minus seven. A, F, G sharp minus seven, F sharp minus seven, G sharp minus seven, intro, G sharp minus seven, E flat minus seven, F minus seven, E flat major, E major, sorry, F, G, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Bit quick this, actually. <laughs> Back again. G sharp minus seven, E flat, E flat minus seven, F sharp minus seven, E major seven, G sharp minus seven, E flat minus seven, F sharp minus seven, E flat. So keep playing along with that, play along to the song. The great thing with Stereo Lab is the way the vocals lie over the melody, really interesting the way they drop the words over the phrases. But good luck, drop me a line if you can't work it out, it's not that clear, and thanks for watching, hope that helps, and see you soon, thank you.